Well, it's nice, even if it's a little backhoe, it sure is a helpful backhoe to dig our holes, dig our little trenches here on a solar water pumping job. Brisk, nice morning here in mountains of Georgia somewhere. And Abe's digging our hole for the pole, getting the hang of this. Oh, that's sweet. Is that good enough? No, keep going. Oh, okay. Can never have too much of that fun. All right, so he's uh, getting the hang of the little backhoe. The seat's busted or it's hard to turn around. That's why he's operating in that way, so. Ah! Get out of the way. Yikes! Oh, relaxing wire pull here. Oh yeah, we're working hard today, folks. <laughs> More cowbell. I forgot my cutters and my cowbell. You gotta cut it at 775. Just installing Grunfoss pump, and because they're a rotor pump, they do not like to let water pass through that rotor. So we've just hooked it up to one solar panel just to get that rotor turning, get that pipe full of water. And uh, we're pushing about 200 watts on this panel. So the water should start coming up here soon. Soon. Oh, but a watch pump never pumps. There we go. All right, you can unplug. That's what we wanted to see. That's just using one panel just to get our pump set. And again, these things are hard to push down the well with uh, the buoyancy of all that pipe full of air. So we just hook it up to the panel and it doesn't matter polarity on this pump, which is cool. So you saw it folks, and that helped us set our panel. Uh, these are the first time I've used these Canadian solar panels. So just finishing up a little solar project solar water pumping project this is always my favorite that's pumping up to an elevated tank and then overflowing uh, the customers here are going to use the overflow for a variety of homesteading needs they are going to capture it that water and some totes but this will turn over once a day um, and this is supplying the whole homestead this tank got a two inch trunk line that runs down to the house so you have a lot of water definitely help with any firefighting needs obviously their house needs and then there's uh, spigots along the way so I'll show you the, the solar and they're up here pretty high on a ridge so great place for the tank highest point on their property and uh, it's just uh, pumping up everything underground no plumbing exposed except for this overflow which will be covered eventually it just we just daylighted out here so they can pick up and go with it wherever they want they got like 25 acres heading that way so anyway these are great tanks nice lined rotoplast thousand gallon tanks just a high quality tank and uh, it's very simple to install and we put bulkhead fittings in for everything we need that way you don't you don't see anything makes it real nice clean installation you don't have to worry about freezing uh, we like to put them in the ground, though it's not a variable tank. We just put it in the ground, about 18 inches. Helps keep the water cooler in the summer. And uh, it's not caving in at all, so especially this type of soil. All right, let me go show you the solar. Okay, so the tank is up there on top of that ridge. You can kind of see the, the light through the trees up there. So we're pumping, I don't know, six, 700 feet away up this through the woods here. We put a Grunfoss 6 SQF3 in the well. The well is got a static water level. You can see the water about 10 feet down. We also put a simple pump hand pump in. And then we did a pole mount with some Canadian solar panels. The customer was born in Canada, so I wanted to get him some Canadian panels. <laughs> so anyway, this is the um, top of pole mount we've shown you before. It's very reasonable for, uh, especially with three panels or less, because this uh, kit ships UPS like two days. I can get it anywhere in the country. So if uh, you're thinking about doing either a hot water system or a solar water pumping system and you don't need a lot of solar, um, 
these type of pole mounts. The customer has to get the steel, get the four inch poles, and then the, the kit comes with the type of pole cap, uh, the U-bolt, and these extruded aluminum pieces, and then these clips, believe it or not, there's no bolts on this. They super heavy duty spring loaded clips that clamp the panels to the racking. And we put a little lightning arrestor in, conduit over to the well. I'll flip that cover off here and show you in a second. But these are, it's 900 watts and cloudy day today. And uh, we filled the tank in about four hours thousand gallons up the hill so we did a little plumbing and put in some valving for future future irrigation got a great little farming area garden area down here that they can use and so we put a, a simple pump in and the handle stowed away for that and then we've got the solar Grunfoss submersible pump in here so we're good to go tanks full of water got plenty of pressure in the house and we put in a future valve box with a shutoff so they can take off and trench down to their garden without having to drain the tank and I think we're I think we're good all right we're gonna head back this is a pretty easy two-day solar water pumping installation so this is something I can definitely walk you through if you're interested in it uh, dual well combo, dual pump, hand pump backup, and a solar submersible pump. So we pump and we overflow, so there's no control wires, a lot less things to build static, to pick up any static electricity and ruin the pump. We have found this has been the most foolproof way to pump water, I guess, for the last 15 years, is to minimize the number of conductors, do some simple uh, grounding, bonding, and surge suppression, lightning protection on there using the midnight lightning arresters, and uh, just don't give lightning a path. Just go mechanical after that well, just everything PVC up to the tank, let it overflow. If you don't like, you feel like you're wasting water, this is easily rotated, and you can change the pitch, and you can rotate it out of the sun if you think you're pumping too much water. So, all right, that's it. This is... Uh, Engineer 775 signing out from a nice little farm in an undisclosed location and we are we are loaded and ready to to head home. So all right, let's get out of here. On to the next one. If you got any questions or need help with a, a water system, um, again like I said, it's these are all these everything in this kit is really small and can ship UPS, the pump, the kit, the racking, and of course the panels are the probably the, the bulkiest part and uh, you can get your steel locally and your tank locally and you'll be up and running in a couple days with lots of water all right any questions let me know uh, send me an email at info at practicalpreppers.com or just message me here on YouTube engineer 775 signing out